Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with My Hero Academia. Last time on My Hero Academia, we had victory or defeat. Um, Midoriya's fight with Shinzo took, um, well, I guess somewhat of an unexpected turn that, uh, we really learned about Shinzo's power, his quirk of brainwashing, which only works if, um, you answer one of his questions, then you go under his spell. Uh, luckily, Midoriya was able to do um, a uh, just a smash with his uh, fingers in order to knock himself out of it, and then he realized, you know, don't say anything, so he, you know, stopped talking, and he won. Um, let's see, after that, uh, during that, he did see uh, all the people uh, in One for All, the people that have championed One for All. He was He saw a vision of them. Uh, which is interesting and may have some uh, some consequences for All Might. Um, and then we had Todoroki versus Saro after Todoroki talked to his father Endeavor, and um, his father was like, "Look, you know, maybe you can get through this tournament just with your mother's quirk, but you're gonna find the limitations of it." So Todoroki went out and did so much overkill; it's not even funny. Uh, in order to beat Saro with his ice quirk. And he did apologize for that. Um, he did apologize to Saro for going overboard like that. But he had to prove a point, basically. So that means that Midoriya will face Todoroki in the next round. Um, yeah, with that all being said, we are going to move on uh, with the first round of the finals. And yeah, this is where I say no spoilers whatsoever in the comments. Uh, just don't. It's not cool. And um, also, this is where I say that if you want to watch my reaction to this episode of My Hero Academia, it is unfortunately not in this video due to copyright issues. Uh, so if you go down in the description or to the pinned comments on this video, there will be a link. Uh, it should say MHA2X8 uh, reaction highlight and have a link. You click on that link, you'll go, you'll find my edited reaction. It's all, you know, footage in the corner. It's all edited and nice and good. And um, if once you're done with that, you can pop on back over here for the discussion on the episode, which is always important that you watch. Um, yeah, and with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this episode of My Hero Academia. Here we go. Oh boy, oh boy. We really just powered through a lot of the tournament there. So, I'm pretty sure this tournament is not going to last the entire season, considering we're on episode 8 of 25, and we're already pretty much... We're almost through the first round. Okay. I pretty much just wrote down the fights themselves. So, but I mean, that's kind of all, that's kind of all this episode was, but at the same time, it was still pretty great. Okay, so. So, we might as well go ahead and just jump right into the notes. Uh, the first thing I wrote down was Kaminari versus Shiozaki. Alright, that, that was an interesting opener. Oh, man. You know, uh, it was interesting at first with present Mike saying, you know, uh, this assassin from Hero Class 1B. And it's like, ooh, shit. She's probably really dangerous then. And then her being like, I'm not an assassin. I'm here to spread, you know, love and righteousness across the land as a hero. Be excellent to each other. No. Um, and it's like, well, that's different. <laughs> that's definitely different. She's like this... Uh, I don't know, just a good girl? Like, that sounds horrible. That makes it sound like none of them are good girls. They're all good girls. They're best girls. Uh, isn't that... <laughs> I always see that with anime. It's like, who's, who's the, who is best girl on show? And it's like, you know what? Who is best girl on this show? Yes. That is your answer. Maybe Uraraka. Because she is a precious treasure to our Earth. But... Um, but yeah, Shiozaki, like, she's almost, 
She's kind of a saint, honestly. Like, okay, there you go. Because no one, no real person is really saintly. But she, Shiozaki was. It was kind of, it, it was interesting, I have to say. It was kind of weird, honestly. Like, she's just, she's just this good girl. And Kaminari, Kaminari fell for that. And, and was like, hey, why don't we go on a date? After I win, I'll console you on your, on your loss. It's like. Nice job, uh, Kaminari. Nice job, you're fucking, ugh. So, and then she just, so that's the thing, is the fact that he goes in for an indiscriminate shock at the beginning. Moron, do not do that. Assume that literally anyone can overcome that. Save that as a last resort. He deserved to lose that, honestly. It's like, he deserved to lose that match. That was really bad. So, I don't feel bad for him. Um, let's see. Um, oh, yeah. And that did lead to... Um, that did lead to uh, the one guy. What was his name? Uh, where are my other notes? Uh, no, that's about the love child. Uh, God, none of these are organized. Uh, oh yeah, Monoma, just being like, oh, I thought you were supposed to be the best, and and the girl, what was the girl's name? I didn't get the girl's name, but the the orange hair girl. Talk about good girl. You know? They're all good girls. That's the thing. They're all best girl. So maybe that could be it. Uraka. Best girl or bestest girl. That's what you could say. Because, I mean, she is... Oh, she is something. And yes, I know. I need to stop before the fucking FBI beats down my door because I'm sort of swooning over 15-year-old girls. It's not that. They're good people. It's not... Shut up. You said it, not me. I know I said it. Damn it. Fuck, because I'm talking to a camera. I'm not... There's no one there. I don't see you. I don't. What if I did, though? But I don't. But yeah, um, Orange Hair Girl. God, I wish I knew her name. I'm, I'm slowly getting all these names. Um, or, Orange Hair Girl. Just with one shot, just knocking him down. Just being like, uh, sorry about him. Carry on. It's like, I, I like her. I like how nice she is, too. Like, they're all nice. Uh, so, the next thing I wrote down was... Uh, the next match was Ida versus Hatsume. Not exactly a fight. Uh, but we did learn... We did learn Hatsume's quirk. Because we hadn't had that yet. But her quirk is Zoom. Uh, which has nothing to do with speed. You know, it's not like the fucking villain from The Flash. But it's specifically her eyes, because her eyes are very detailed. It's the fact that she can see, what they say, up to five kilometers away? Man, that's pretty interesting. So, so I like that. I like that uh, it's an interesting quirk, and it kind of works because, you know, the, the design of her eyes, it's, it's sort of like crosshairs. So, um, so I like that. And just, just the fact, just the fact that um, Hatsume used used their fight in order to in order to advertise all of her devices but at the very least it, here's where it, it, it it's kind of redeemable like like it's like she makes it okay because she does lose the fight she she basically surrenders the fight to Ida once she's done selling her products um but and that does make sense when you think about it with um you know, every time she's used her stuff, she's like, I hope employers are watching. And, you know, when she first went over to Midoriya for the cavalry battle, she was like, you, guy in first place, you're exactly what I need. You know, so it it totally works that, um, it totally works that, um, it, it, it totally works that, you know, with her character that she decided to advertise all her products while fighting Ida. Um, 
that 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 was good. I did like that. Unfortunately, that did come at the expense of poor Ida. You know, Ida was not able to. He wasn't able to show himself off. You know, show how good he was. But even the basically like Hatsume returned the favor by surrendering. You know, she did. She did return the favor, basically, by surrendering the match and letting Ida move forward. It means Ida can have a legitimate uh, fight next time. So, so that's a that that's where it's like it's at least good of her to do that. You know, it's not because because yeah, this is kind of a a pretty shitty thing to do. You know, to just you know hijack the entire thing to be a commercial and make you know and make Ida look like a fool, basically. So. Oh boy. Um, next, I wrote down Mina versus uh, Aoyama. That was interesting. Um, I'm glad that you know he didn't advance because he was from the group with Shinzo, but he was the only one not to withdraw like the other two. So, so I'm glad. And he's always been such a posh prick about. About everything. About his stylish good looks. Mm, mm. So he's always been a posh shit about, um, about himself and very narcissistic. So I'm glad that Mina put him in his place. Because she knew his weakness. He can't keep using his, uh, his crotch laser. I know it's a naval laser, but I, I say crotch because it's funnier. Um, he can't keep using his laser over and over because... Um, it upsets his stomach, and she took advantage of that. She dodged. She used her, you know, physical abilities to dodge all of his attacks until she could get in there, destroy his device that let him shoot his laser, and then knock his ass out. So, so that was good. Um, I wrote down Tokoyami versus Yoyorozu. Oh, that was just sad at the end. Like, you know, it, it does reinforce how incredible Tokoyami is. But the poor girl didn't stand a chance, you know? She couldn't... She never had a chance to concentrate on uh, making making her shit, basically. Making stuff in order to actually fight. You know, the most she could do was she was able to keep getting shields up. But Tokoyami took that uh, to his advantage... And just kept hitting her shields until she was knocked out. Man, that sucks. And her, like, you know, walking away, you know, getting all teary-eyed and stuff. Ah, oh, just want to just give her a hug. This poor girl. Oh, man. Um, I wrote down Kirishima versus Tetsu Tetsu. Um, I, I actually like that that ended in a draw. Although they are going to decide a winner later. Um, I did like that that ended in a draw. And... And also, I did like that that was the one where we cut away. We cut away to go do something else. Because it's like Midoriya said, it's like, yeah, they're not going to be done anytime soon. It's like, and that's true. They're going to keep beating the shit out of each other, basically. So, uh, so that was interesting. And I did like the entire time that uh, these matches are going on, uh, Midoriya is actually taking notes. And it's still in the same burned notebook. The same notebook that... Um, that uh, Kachan burned in the first episode. He's still taking notes in it, and he's mumbling the entire time. It's hilarious. I love that he does that. And it makes sense for him to do that. And then the last thing I wrote down was Bakugo versus Uraraka. Yeah, that's who... That's gonna be... That's gonna be something. You know, pretty much two of our main, main characters. You know, because, I mean... To be fair, it's like there is a main character of the show, and then... Uh, a couple, like, main supporting characters, and then a very large ensemble cast in this uh, show. But this is two of our main, main characters, um, Bakugo and Uraraka. So, yeah, that... Oh, God, I hope she does well. I understand why she didn't want to take uh, Midoriya's notes, because she wants to do this on her own. You know, even if he picked out... Even if he planned out a strategy by studying it, she wants to do this on her own. And I actually like the the whole uh, explanation of, you know, I, like she maybe subconsciously was using Midoriya through the cavalry battle in order to, um, 
in order to get by. But she can't do that anymore, you know? They are all rivals. There is even a rivalry between Midoriya and Uraraka. So she's going to go out there and do the best she can on her own. God, I hope she is a master of martial arts because that's the thing with her quirk. Now, maybe she could figure out a strategy to get him. That's the only thing she could do with her quirk is, well, get him or get her. You know, maybe she can use her own quirk to dodge his attacks, but she may need to get him and then launch him out, basically. Like, if you can get him in anti-gravity and then just push him out, you know, just get one nice good push and then get him out of there. Maybe, but I don't know. I don't know if Bakugo's going to let that happen, though. That's the other thing. So, ooh, that's going to be an intense fight, but we will have to find out next time on My Hero Academia. Um, which, uh, are they the, are they the final fight? Uh, let's see. So we had, we've already had four. Midoriya, Midoriya, Shinzo, Todoroki, Saro, Kaminari, Sh Shiozaki, Ida, Hatsume, uh, Ash Ashido, Aoyama, Tokoyami, Yoyorozu, Kirishima, Tetsu Tetsu, Bakugo, Uraraka. Yeah, that's 16. Only 16 people made it to the finals, so... Bakugo versus Uraraka is the last match of round one before we move on. So, yeah. So, that's going to be pretty crazy. And then, uh, so we'll have uh, Midoriya versus Todoroki, um, Shiozaki versus Ida, Ashido versus Tokoyami. Ooh. And then, and then we honestly don't know the final two because we don't have, we don't have a decision on uh, Kirishima versus Tetsu Tetsu. So we're going to have to get that after after Bakugo versus Uraraka. So yeah, we don't know that final matchup. We'll have to see. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's that's going to be crazy, and I can't wait to get into that. Um, little secret, though. I'm going to go ahead and record the next episode because Christmas is coming up, and I need to get ahead a little bit. So it doesn't help for you guys. You guys are still going to uh, watch this Um you're still going to watch this, you know, one week after another, basically. But I get to go ahead and watch the next episode. Yay. So, I'm going to go do that. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my My Hero Academia reactions, you can click on the playlist. You can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media. Links below in the description. See you guys later.